Hello, my name is Brenda. My channel is Handwork Maniac. And today is Saturday, November 13th, 2021. As part of my third floss tube anniversary in October, I asked you if you would rather see everything that's in my under the bed box, everything I've finished but have never fully finished, which I keep on top of a shelf, not under a bed. Or would you rather have a whip parade? And the votes were slightly more one of the under the bed box than the whip parade, but there were so many votes for both and lots of votes for both <laughs> that I decided to do two videos. And I'll probably make that at least the whip parade an annual tradition on my floss tube anniversary. So I've already filmed the under the bed box. That's a separate video. This video will be my whip parade and I've organized them oldest to newest. So we'll start with the oldest whip work in progress and go to the newest. My oldest one is a counted canvas piece called Kurumi that I started. It was a class I took at the EGA Rocky Mountain Region Conference seminar in 2010. It will look like this when it's finished. Her hair and her face are pieces of felt that are sewn on afterwards. And this is what I have so far. The next oldest <clears throat> is American Sampler by Sandy Orton. It is still available on Cooler Design Studios website, K-O-O-L-E-R. Um, in my magazine version that I have, it's called American Sampler. On the website, it's either Antique American Sampler or Vintage American Sampler. I can't remember. This is what it will look like when it is finished. It has lots of specialty stitches in it. And this is what I have so far. These flowers are all queen stitches. The rose is satin. The background dark green fill-in is alternating half stitch. The border is a rice stitch in two colors. Parts of the house are over one, part of it's over two. The little um, colonial man is all over one, half cross. This is 40 count pair linen. I started that one in 2012. And then in 2014, I took a class from Catherine Theron called Peaceable Kingdom. That will look like this when it is finished. Her website is Theron Traditions. She doesn't sell her patterns retail. You have to take the class from her. But she does have, you can see her class teaching schedule on her website and she may sell them in the future. I don't know. I did hear that she was going to be doing some online classes maybe after the pandemic started. I'm not sure what happened with that. So here is the top. It also has a lot of specialty stitches. And I finished the middle section with the big yellow house.
I'm working on the bottom third, which has this large over one section in it. I'm doing one over one there, full cross. I believe this is 32 count fabric. Really hoping to finish this one this year. That would be nice. Not sure if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. Next is my full coverage Disneyland map pattern that I started in 2018. It will look like this when it is finished. I got it on Etsy. It says it's by Many Design, N-E-N-I. Mine is the, um, I think it has 48 colors or 49. I noticed there are a couple of versions on Etsy. There's a, a one that has like 80 or 90 colors in it. Mine is the 40 color one. It is on 40 count dwarf. If I picture this plus, and it is one strand of floss over two fabric threads, full cross. I started in the middle right here where the castle is. Catherine helped me quite a bit with that first page because I was I started at cross country and then decided I wanted to go back to parking in 10 by 10 blocks. So she helped finish up that page so that I could go back to 10 by 10 blocks because it was in craft prison at the time. These are parking bobbins that my daughter-in-law Hannah made. Her Etsy store is Sunshine Mama's Designs. They pop open and you can wind the thread around in there that you're not the parked threads that you're trying to keep organized and don't want them to get tangled. And then it has a magnet on it so that it will stay in place out of the way. A stitcher, a stitching shelf by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork All right, it's in here somewhere. The original artwork is by Amy Stewart. Will look like this when it is finished. And this is what I have so far. One over one on 25 count even weave. This one also has a parking bobbin on it. The next one is Bless This House. Another class that I took from Catherine Theron in 2017. It will look like this when it is finished. A lot of specialty stitches in this one as well. And this is what I have so far. I haven't worked on it much since the class. I kind of do one work on one Catherine Theron piece at a time. When I finish Peaceable Kingdom, this one will be next. This is all Montenegrin stitch. I wanted to get that all in while I could while I still had it in my head. Because when I do it a lot, I can do it without thinking if I haven't done it for a while, then I have to go through all the directions again. And then that same day, I took two classes from Catherine Theron in a couple of days. This one is called an Irish Blessing. Also in August of 2017. 
But this one also has a Montenegrin stitch border, so I went ahead and got that completed at the time that I took the class. And I'll start on this one after I finish Bless This House. I'll start working on it regularly. Catherine Theron pieces are technical stitching. They have lots of specialty stitches. But gorgeous and lots of fun to stitch. If you ever have the chance to take a class from her, definitely do it. Okay, then is Arcade, which was a mania start in 2019. So this is my oldest mania whip that is not finished yet. I have four pieces from that mania in 2019 that are not finished yet. Oh, let's see, show you the pattern. It is by Long Dog Samplers, R-K-A-D-E. It looks like a forest of trees. I love it. Mine is on 40 count conifer by Picture This Plus. And I am using um, a hank of silk from, oh, I just lost it. In Australia, Silk's For You, a hank of silk from Silk's For You. This is what I have so far. And I'm also using another Silk's For You color here that's an, um, kind of a light sagey green color. It's a lot easier to see close up than it is, shows up a lot better in person. And then a patchwork sampler by Jan Houtman was also a mania start in May of 2019. It has been restarted uh, three times, I believe. The latest start <laughs> is on 46 count white linen. Yes, it goes this way. I am not using the called for colors. I pulled all of the over dyed silk out of my stash. And I'm doing all the purples, all the blues and all the greens that I have in my stash. So it'll be like a real patchwork, like a patchwork quilt. That's what I have so far. It would be three times that big if I hadn't restarted it three times. But I'm very happy with it now. Sleeping Princess, also a mania start in 2019. No, yes, 2019. By Mirabilia, this is what it will look like when it is finished. Mine is on 32 count water lily linen with the called for DMC. I was able to finish her and her pillow this year, starting on the bedding to hanging down and the mattresses down there and the bedstead that goes up and over her head. Love the beautiful colors in this one. And Day and Night by Long Dog Samplers. 
This is the fourth one that I started in Mania of 2019 that is not finished yet. I'm using the Called For DMC Floss. And it is on 40 count picture this plus valor v a l o r and this is what i have so far I love the saying on this one. I love working on it. It says, day and night, sun and moon, air and light, everyone must have and none can buy. I love all the little houses and the border. The patterns repeat, but always in a different color. And there's several different houses and trees. So fun. And my fourth Catherine Theron piece is Morning Has Broken. Also a class kit that you can only get if you take the class from her, as far as I know. And this is what I have so far. This one has a whole bunch of spiral trellis uh, flowers in the border all the way around. So when I get to this one, ready to focus on it, there will be lots of practice of spiral trellis stitch. This is the only stitch I've ever tried that I was not able to do on my first or second try. It's going to take some practice, but I'm determined to learn it and learn how to do it. I'm going to take a picture of this mess at the end of this video so you can see the after video mess, just in case you've ever wondered. This is Band of Roses 1845 Antique Sampler by cross stitch antiques this is what the it's a reproduction sampler this is what the original looked like looks like she owns it i'm using the called for dmc except that i this top was supposed to be eight dmc 823 and i changed it to a Vera Soie, Soie d'Alger 1416 so that it would cover just a little better because it was such a dark blue. And then I changed this one to Dinky Dyes. And I can never remember the name. Pacific Ocean. And then the rest of it is the called for DMC. I have started on the Band of Roses. And this is 40 count. Oh, there's two of them here, hang on. Maritime White Linen by Lakeside. And it has quite a few colors. There, okay. <laughs> quite a few colors in this one. And I started that one in July of 2019, and then I started Bump and Do Night from by Praiseworthy Stitches, October 19th, 2019, at the, excuse me, Stitch West Retreat, put on by Snug Harbor Crafts. 
floss tube channel. Bump and Denight Farm by Praiseworthy Stitches. Mine is on 40 count Creek Stone by Silk Weaver. And this is what I have so far. I started up here with the barn. Been working on the house this year. It all just fell on the floor. This one is so fun. I love this. It's all the call for um, over dyed cotton. The pattern, I couldn't decide whether to do the words on there. It says from ghosties and ghoulies at the top across in the sky. Sorry, let me get the glare off of that. And I thought, what does that mean? I don't, I don't understand. It didn't make any sense to me. So I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to stitch those letters. And then I was watching a documentary about Disneyland. No, we were watching the Haunted Mansion movie, the old one from Disney. And Leota says, from ghosties and ghoulies from last Halloween. So now I know where the saying comes from. Makes more sense to me. I'm totally stitching it on there. It's over one. Those letters are all over one. And this is 40 count. No, yes, this is 40 count. So it's probably gonna have to be 10 stitches over one. Ought to be interesting. And then right after Stitch West, as soon as I could get home and buy all the stuff, because I saw Rika's of House and Stitch and Stash, she was working on it. I bought a churchyard Christmas and started it by Praiseworthy Stitches as well. Has the nativity in the middle. I love it. I'm using the called for threads on the called for 32 count Mirage by Picture This Plus. Finished that house on the bottom and was able to start on the section down here that says, I think it says joy to the world. That one is also a lot of fun to work on. It's in my current whip file because we're in the season. Halloween is over. Time to pull out the Christmas stitching. For me anyway. And then in February, I believe, of 2020, I started a Heaven and Earth design called Four Seasons by, the artwork is originally by Yasek Yerka. There's a heaven and earth designs, and this is the, I'm doing the mini version. Mini versions are smaller, but because they're smaller, but it's still the full size picture, um, they're very confetti heavy. I was able to get this whole top row of pages done and now I have moved down to the next row of pages. I do use Pattern Keeper. I love it for all of my Heaven and Earth designs and my Long Dog samplers and anything else that I can get to import into it that's complicated. It has lots of colors where you lose your place easy. Now this part Again, these are parking bobbins that my daughter-in-law Hannah made. I need to get another one with a button on it right here from her. Uh, called for DMC floss, one over one full cross on 25 count even weave. 
all of my heaven and earth designs are on 25 count one over one even leaves. And then in March of 2020, I started this Dimensions Gold Kit, Lost No More. The original artwork is by Greg Olson. It says 2000, oh, 1998 on it. So it's kind of an old kit. I'm using the kit fabric and the kit gloss. It's a tan 18 count Ada. I've been starting on working on the tree up here. His tree branches above his head. He is finished. And the one sheep is finished. This whole section is finished. I've been able to get all of the back stitching done. This is my daily 30 piece. As you may remember, I have one of these project cards in every pattern, every um, project. They are by S. Ward Designs on Etsy. They're just, I love them because she has this, she has several formats. You can mark off by hundreds of stitches. You can mark off, this one's by calendar days. You can just mark what day you worked on it. This one's fun to look at because this is 2020 when I started it. And this is 2021. As you can tell, there were uh, several months there that I didn't get any work on it in the summer. I did really well up here in January, February, and March, trying to work on it every weekday. Doing better here in November. Then I started Hoity Toity in April of 2020. We're in 2020, right? Yes. It is a long dog sampler that will look like this when it is finished. I'm doing mine on 40 count mallow. And I'm using the Silk Conversion Pack from Mrs. Sadus Silks. I made a couple of color changes from that. So I'm not using exactly what her pack calls for. But I'll put that in the description box below. I've added a couple of colors and I moved some of her colors to a different symbol. It's a little over halfway and I love it. I love these deep rich fall colors. It had a pink in it which is what the original pattern has of pink and I didn't use the pink. I added some darker reds. I have two projects left from Mania 2020 that are not finished yet. And then I added, I always add a couple of whips to my mania plans so that I'm not doing all new starts. I add some whips and Churchyard Christmas and Bump and Denight Farm, I added to my mania list in 2020. So technically those are now mania projects that are not done yet. And then I have two, Hoity Toity and Serenity Harbor left that are not finished yet from 2020. This is Serenity, Serenity Harbor Sampler by, by, the, by the Bay Needle Arts. It was originally a 12 part stitch along. You can still buy the pattern from her Etsy store. It comes in 12 parts, just like if you were buying 12 different leaflets. They are PDF charts.
Mine is on 40 count lakeside linens in the color vintage lentil. And I'm using most of the called for DMC, except that where there's patches of big color, like the grass and the water, I switched to an overdyed, either a silk or a cotton, whatever I could find that I thought looked good. The water is all in overdyed, two colors of overdyed silk by Dinky Dyes. I'll put those in the description box below. If there's room for all of this in the description box. It's quite a long piece, <laughs> but it's not very wide. In May of 2020, I started Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. Mine is on 40 count Silk Weaver Elegance, but I ran through the washing machine a couple times to lighten it up, which is quite risky. I had no idea what would happen to it, but I liked it. Thank goodness. This one is close to a finish. So this one will definitely be done by the end of the year. For the last, most of this year, I've been working on this on Sundays. I just have a couple of hours in the evening on Sundays to stitch. See if we can get it to straighten out a little bit. It was the middle of the pandemic when I started it, so I was just using colors I had out of my stash that I thought looked like what the model photo looked like. I did change the huckleberries to some more purpley colors, as I recall, because I thought they weren't very huckley berry looking colors. I've been working on the bear, and then I just need to come over and finish this corner. And then it will be finished. And then in July of 2020, I started Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. I am using a sulky 12 weight cotton blendable in the color cactus or it's number 4086. Sulky 12 weight is thicker. It's about the same as two strands of DMC, but it's just one strand and it comes off the spool as just one strand. You don't split it or anything. They have blendable colors that are variegated like this, and they also have solid colors. So I'm doing the most of it in this cactus color. I'm doing all the animals in this sulky, S-U-L-K-Y, 12 weight turquoise color, which is 1095. I'm doing the border in a solid green, which is color, where is it? 1271. And then for the back stitching of the animals and any other back stitching in it, if it's in the green section, I'm using DMC 520. And if it's one of the animals that's a turquoise color, then I'm using DMC 3810 to do the back stitching, just one strand. It's on 36 count linen. And I'm using one strand of Sulky over two fabric threads, full cross. The, the fabric is cut to size, so that's how big it will be. This is how much I have done so far. Uh, oh, this year I've worked on this quite a bit as my plane project when I was flying somewhere. 
it's a great one to have in the airport and on a plane because it's just the one color. I can preload a whole bunch of needles and then just keep going on it. And when I'm at home, I do this on Pattern Keeper. I could do that in the plane, but I didn't want to take my tablet with me. So I took the paper pattern to work on it on the plane. It's beautiful. I love it. It's very relaxing to work on. And then, of course, right after that, also in July, I believe, yes, no, no, I waited clear till September, probably right after it came out, actually, to start the new normal by Long Dog Samplers. That's my, when I was playing around with colored pencils to decide what colors I wanted to do. This is the model photo mock-up. I am also using Sulky Threads on this one. I bought my Sulky Threads from Sulky.com, S-U-L-K-Y.com. It came from their American branch of their company that's in the United States. I chose my own. It's all solid colors. I chose my own color palette. I'll list those in the description box below. I am almost to the top corner of the fabric over here. This one is also a lot of fun to work on, very relaxing. And I started Beachcomber in November of 2020 by Carolyn Manning Designs. using the called for DMC on 25 count off white even weave. I've made it from one corner down to the bottom to the other corner. Love working on this one. The colors are so fun. They're like little mini quilt blocks and I just love seeing how the what the next one's gonna look like next to the last one as the colors fill in. Then mine was kind of a New Year's New Day start but um, my vacation last year was more of my vacation happened before Christmas than, or before New Year's Day than after New Year's Day. Most of my winter, because I work at a school, my winter vacation is mostly before New Year's Day. We have to be back like on the third, and I think it's the same this year. We're back on the third or the fourth. So I started this on the day after Christmas as a stitch along with my friend Sharon, just so that I could have more time to work on it over the Christmas break. But it's basically a new year, new start. This is Kingdom of Books that I bought from a Russian website called mybobbin.com. It is made by a, it's a kit made by a Russian company translated to make it with your own hands. There is another version of this on Amazon made by a different company. It's, I think someone has scanned the photo in and then made it into a, more like a heaven and earth design with like 90 colors or 50 or something, I'm not sure. But this one is the kit version that comes with, I'm using the kit floss, which is very nice floss. It came with 14 count white Ada to stitch it on and <laughs> one of the lights fell off. I'm stitching mine on 18 count Ada, a cream colored over dyed 18 count Ada. I was able to finish the October section of this book. I need to get started on the November section of the next book. We're doing half a book a month. The titles on the books in the pattern are in Russian. Um, these 
this pattern is, when you translate the titles, they're all about um, the Netherlands. The books are all about the Netherlands. I believe these are meant to look like the tall skinny houses that are along the canal in Amsterdam. My friend Mary translated the Russian for me into English so that I could put the English titles on here. Um, Andrew will show a picture of the houses along the canal in Amsterdam so you can see what I'm talking about. And then in April, oh, I started Shine On as well um, as a New Year New Start. And that one might have been actually on New Year's Day, I can't remember. I'm also doing that one with Sulky 12 White Cotton thread. Um, I just chose colors that looked very similar to the actual pattern. It is in the Bonnie and Camille Quilt B book. It's a quilting book, but then they have a version of the quilt in a cross stitch pattern at the back of the book. I don't have it with me because it's at work. It's the one I work on during my lunch half hour at work. And I'm hoping it will be done by the end of this year as well. It's close. I'm down at the bottom row. It's close. And then in April of 2021, I started Prairie Schooler, the ABC charts, and they're just called. One is ABC, one is DEF, one is MNO. I'm going to do them all on the same piece of fabric. It is 28 count linen, a cream colored 28 count linen. And I'm doing one over one full cross. I'll be doing four across. Six rows of four, I believe. So it'll be 24 blocks. I'm not doing the and block that is included in the series. And I've combined four of two letters into one block and two letters into one block so that I end up with 24 letters instead of 26. And then I changed the red. This first ABC all comes in the same leaflet. They had a much darker red and I chose a lighter red that's used later in the series. So I changed the red to a lighter red for these first three blocks. I finished all of my new Mania Star. I didn't start as many Mania Starts this year in 2021 just because of some stuff that was happening um, outside of stitching. So I was, and I, the ones I started were small, except for ABC. I started ABC on my birthday right before um, Mania started. So that one's going to be in the works for a while. But all the, everything else that I started during Mania, I finished. So I have no except for the one. I don't have any others from Mania 2021 that are not finished yet. And then when I went to StitchCon in June, I started a new piece called Star Village by Thistles. I'm using all the called for Gentle Arts threads. This one is also close to a finish. It will be done by the end of the year. I'd love to have it done before Christmas. This is what I have so far. I love the colors in this one. This one has been so fun to work on. Lots of blocks of solid color stitching, but they're all over dyed threads. So they, I love the way that they variegate. Especially on this house right here, it's butter crunch and it goes from a really dark to a really light. It was so fun to see how it would, what it was doing on that house. I've really enjoyed this one. She has another one called the flower shop, I believe. I have the pattern. I'm going to stitch that one eventually as well. Okay, I think we are to the last bin. June, June of 2021, 
after I had been to StitchCon and saw Lisa Stitch in the Dream stitching on one by the same designer. The Farben des Bossers, The Colors of Water by De Werkstatt for Historische Muster. She was working on the free, they have a free pattern inside of the Silk app. You get the Silk app. It's an awesome pattern um, stitching app. You can purchase patterns within the Silk app and there's also some free ones in there. She was working on the, the red version similar to this that was free inside of that app. And I saw it and just thought, oh, oh, I need to, I've been looking at this Colors of Water for a long time and decided, oh, time to start it. I also wanted to try the 46 count linen. So this is 46 count white linen with the called for Avera Soie, Soie d'Alger threads. This one is so lovely. I always enjoy working on this. The most calming, gorgeous design. Oh, it's almost like meditation. And then also Lisa from Stitch in the Dream was also working on, she wanted to put the Liz Matthews 12 Days of Christmas. She's stitching them all on the same piece of fabric. So I decided I needed to do the same thing as well because it was so gorgeous. This is the first day of Christmas by Liz. Hello from Liz Matthews. That's the name of her company. I'm using the called for NPI. It shows DMC and NPI on the charts. She has five days out so far. And mine is on 46 count white or an off white, I can't remember. Antique white, maybe linen. Oh, they're beautiful. They are just gorgeous. And that one will also be coming out a lot in my current work basket for the next until January, probably, because we're in the Christmas season. In the summer, in July, on my anniversary, my husband and I were on an anniversary trip. I started, I purchased this pattern at StitchCon when I was in Cincinnati at Keepsakes store by Little Dove Designs. A stitch for all seasons, and this is the summer. There are four, one for each season. This is the summer one. And then after I got home in July, I decided I needed to start it on my anniversary trip. It is the called for DMC floss on 40 count. Hmm. Forty count what? Oh, Seaside Melody. I love that little camper van. And I love this balcony with the flowers. Oh, I love all of it. One over one on the forty count. And also on my anniversary trip, I decided I needed to try some 56 count fabric. So I decided to do Zimmerman Coverlet Sampler from Modern Folk Embroidery on 56 count fabric. Because I wanted to see what that was like. And I wanted to use an over dyed thread I love the way it looks when you're doing monochromatic. But I needed a really thin thread to work on 56 count because I was afraid it would be too thick. So I was afraid a silk would be too thick. So I knew I wanted something like a DMC that are very thin. So 
strands. So I am using DMC Variegated 121. It's just one of their variegated threads. I bought a box of them on Amazon. Beautiful blue color that goes from a light clear to a dark. So I'm using one strand of floss over two fabric threads on 56 count. And I'm just letting it, I'll pull, I cut the threads so that I got All right, let's just. <laughs> this floss goes for quite a while before it changes color. So it goes from, it's dark for this far, and then it starts to turn into a medium blue for this far and a very light right there in the middle. And then it goes back to a dark. So when I cut a piece, I started at the dark, I went clear through the light until I got back to the dark about where it started from, and I cut that. Now that's way too long of a strand for me to stitch with because I'll just make a big naughty mess out of it. So I cut those in fourths, I believe, because the holes are so tiny on the 56 count that if I use too long of a strand, it will shred the floss after a while. 103 silks would probably be fabulous on 56 count. I think that's what Ymir at Almond M&M's uses. But with this DMC, I just needed to use a, a shorter length and it works fine. So I cut this into four pieces. And then I just make sure I use all four of those pieces so that I get all four colors in before I pull out another strand. And then when I start that new strand, I pick the of the four I have sitting there, I'll use one and then I'll go to get another one and I'll pick the one that the end of it is as close to the color as the one I just ended with. So if I ended with a really light blue, then I'll pick a piece that has light blue at one end of it. If I ended with a really dark blue, then I'll pick a piece that has dark blue at that end of it. Other than that, I'm not fussy cutting or anything. I do sometimes cut out the lightest part of the light blue thread if it's near the end, because that light blue doesn't show up. The lightest whitey, very light blue doesn't show up very well in this fabric. But I think it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But this is a monster of a piece. I really want to do all three repeats like it shows on the model photo. The pattern just gives you one repeat and then you need to repeat it however many times you want. But I think I'll wait until I get one repeat finished and then see how I feel, how long that took and see how I feel. See how it's repeated three times. And I just have this little bit done up here. But the most beautiful pattern. And I am loving that DMC floss. Then I think in August, September, in September sometime, My daughter Marie had started The Magic Tree by Barbara Anna. And I also had bought that kit because we both thought it was so cute. And my friend Kim. So when she started it, I decided I had to start it as well. And it should be done this month. It is almost, it's over halfway. So let's show you the picture. Which, of course, now I can't locate. It's got to be in here somewhere. No. Well, it's Barbara Anna, the magic tree, and apparently I have lost the little card that has the photo on it. I think I have two, um, like, one more section that has two sides and then the very top that's just one big section. It gets narrower as it goes up. This is the kit. 
fabric, which is 32 count. I'm using the Kit Floss. It came as a kit from Nitka, which is Nitka Nitka.ru in Russia. She ships it in a tube. I got it pretty quick. I just love her designs, love her colors. There's only like six colors in this, but six or eight, nine maybe, nine colors. I think there's nine colors, but oh, I love how she puts them together. It's so pretty. And then I was at Stitch West in October and kind of had a starting Frenzy. Started several things. This one is Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It is stitched on green fabric, so none of that light green grass is stitched. That's the color of the fabric, and then the sky is stitched. The blue sky is stitched. I just think this is the most gorgeous pattern. I love the colors. I love the design of it. I'm doing mine on 40 count pair, a more green version of 40 count pair. Um, one strand of floss over two fabric threads with the called for, except that I changed the orange 740 to Weeks Dye Works Marmalade, and I couldn't find the Gloriana Black Cherry, so this is Classic Color Works Cupid for the red trees. This tree right here, it's got green and gold and yellow in it. That is a Gloriana silk, the called for Gloriana silk called Apricot Grove. It is so gorgeous in this piece. Having lots of fun with that one. I'm a very seasonal stitcher. I like stitching on stuff in the season. So this month I have been working on a lot of fall things. And then also at Stitch West, several friends and I, oh, and we have a hashtag now. I can't remember what it is. I'll put it in the description box below. We did decide on a hashtag finally, if you'd like to join us. Actually, before, okay, this is not that one. This is a different one. This was the exclusive retreat piece at Stitch West by a little stitch girl called Sewing with Friends. It says, the only thing better than stitching is stitching with friends. And it's a Quaker sampler. And I so it was just using fabric. I bought some fabric from House of Stitch and Stash, barely perly, periwinkle, 40 count, this light periwinkle fabric. And then I just pulled some colors out of Star Village and out of My Home in the Garden that I thought would look nice. And I'm stitching it, started it with those. It is almost finished. It'll be finished next week, I think. I'll put the colors I used in the description box below. And then I also, the it was charted to have the words in two colors of blue, but I decided to just do it in the one color of blue. And then I changed, I added that dark blue color in the little spots in between up here. And this was supposed to be green and I changed these to the dark blue just so there would be some, that dark blue would tie in somewhere else. Loving that one, that is so pretty. Thank you, Jordan. This one is the stitch along that I can't remember the hashtag for, but I will put it in the description box below. It is Liz Matthews, My Home in the Garden. Ignore the pencil lines on it because we were dividing it up into 12 sections to do as a stitch along. I saw the model at StitchCon and it was gorgeous. So several of us bought it started kidding it up and knew that we wanted to start it all together. Colette, the highway stitcher, is our fearless leader. She came up with the hashtag, 
I, oh my God. I won't say it in case I get it wrong. Wrong. I'll put it in the description box. Using the called for Gloriana silks on 46 count off white. Actually, no, this is 40 count alabaster linen. Because I, when I did a floss toss, I really liked how it looked on this cool white color. Such a beautiful pattern. And then my newest start was the week after Stitch West. And I decided I've had this in my stash since last fall. Resisted starting it last year, but could not resist this year. This is a Heaven and Earth Designs kit or pattern called Autumn. I call it Autumn Cat, just so it's not so confusing. The original artwork is by Maria, Maria Petit. I don't know if it is um, still on there available or not. I'm doing mine on 25 count moss. One over one full cross with more parking bobbins from my daughter-in-law Hannah. Sunshine Mama's Designs on Etsy. I started in the middle of his back and then I'm working down. Beautiful fall colors, just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous artwork. And that is the last one. I counted them, there are 36. So I have 36 whips, but I am hoping really going to try hard to get it. I started the year with 27 whips and I'd really like to at least get it back to 27 by the end of this year. So I have several that are close to a finish. I am hoping I make it and maybe at least one less to get it down to 26 maybe for the beginning of 2021, 22, sorry, 2022. Wow. Um, I think that's everything. And we'll see you in a few weeks when I do another update. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.